All right. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, I'm going to talk about the idea of developing an AI-based business data analyst using OpenAI function calling. So before I go into function calling, I actually first want to address the question, what about ChatGPT code interpreter, as this is currently getting a lot of hype. And so, for example, if you look on YouTube, there's quite some heavy claims there that code interpreter is going to be the end of data analysts, right? So I thought, all right, then looks like I have to give this a try myself. So I created a simplified version of a data set I found on Kaggle. And this data set actually tracks the page loads and the unique visitors for each day. I then uploaded this to uh, the CSV to code interpreter and asked it to plot the number of unique visitors per year. And so code interpreter then um, loaded and inspected the CSV. And afterwards, it generated Python code that aggregated the unique visitors by year. And then it produced a Matplotlib chart. All right, so this might look nice overall, but there's a big problem here. The correct answer would have been, this question cannot be answered using the data set as unique visitors is a non-additive metric. This sounds very technical. What I mean by that is, you know, if a user actually visited the website each day in the year, this would result in uh, this user would have encountered 365 times in this uh, chart here. So the results are complete overestimation, actually. And so overall, I'm not very concerned that Code Interpreter is going to replace data analysts anytime soon. I think it's a tool that can greatly improve the productivity of anybody that can code with Python. But I don't think it's something that you want to directly expose to like non-technical business users. And this brings me to what I actually want to talk about, which is function calling. So imagine that we had, have a comprehensive retail data set. We've talked about retail before. How could we develop a data analyst chatbot that can answer a query like the one shown here using function calling? That's like the setup, right? And for this, we would first create a system prompt. And here I'm showing a very simplified example that states, you are an expert in data analytics. Use the provided functions to answer the user question. You're working with the following data set. And then here, I just concatenate uh, the first five rows of the um, data set in markdown format to give it some context. And next, we have to describe basically the functions that the GPT model should use. For example, we can specify a function filter and aggregate, which takes a list of dimensions that should be aggregated and a dictionary of filters that should be previously, like before that, applied on the data set. And then we can also spe specify other functions, such as um, a plot time series function, which takes in a metric and produces a figure, for example, a plot -li plot. And um, we can then iteratively make this more complex. You know, we could add a lot more functions here, for example, something like uh, plot forecast, or maybe even a function that would uh, identify anomalies, or maybe even run SQL queries. And so the important part to understand here is that GBT will act like as an agent and will only return the function name and the arguments that it wants us to call, but we actually have to implement these functions ourselves and then actually call them when it wants us to call the functions. And so um, to make this more clear, I'm going to show one uh, example in the action diagram. So first, as mentioned, um, we have the system prompt. So we send the system prompt, the user prompt, and the function specifications to the GPT model. And in this case, it would return uh, the filter and aggregate function name with the arguments year, month, and store and as dimensions, and a filter for city equals Heidelberg. So given the query, it thinks, OK, this would be the best function to you know, fulfill this query. And so we would then execute this function locally, so basically in, the, in, the, in our analyst. And then uh, we send a next request with the full conversation history, where we also include a markdown sample of the aggregated data frame. And the model then reasons that the next function that should be called is this plot time series function with the metric sales. And so again, we would run this function locally. And then finally, we would show the generated figure in the chat window. So this is like the high level idea of how function calling can be used to basically develop custom agents that can, in this uh, actually use case here, act as kind of a data analyst. And so I think overall, um, this is kind of the most promising 
uh, approach at the moment, especially regarding production readiness um, for developing such a tool be because it has several advantages. You have full control over the generated plots. You can incorporate all kinds of guardrails. Uh, you can you know, implement integration tests, all types of stuff. But of course, it's not end-to-end -end AI. You have to develop these functions yourself. That's kind of the downside here. And then, yeah, we're hiring. <laughs> 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 yeah. 